Papa Junk shop. Well, he decided to get started on putting this third wire in so I can run the three phase up to the house from the smart drive. So I got the old wires. Well, I got one of them pulled out. <laughs> and uh, had trouble with the weather head. Of course, the screws were all rusted. And I finally got the cap off of that. And I got the one wire that had gone bad pulled out and used that to pull the new wires in. I still got uh, two of the old ones to pull out yet. And I got three new number 10s that I'm pulling in. And I had to pull my seal tight out because of the two curves in it just wasn't going to let me pull it through. So it turned into a lot more work than I thought. And I supposed to rain it. 3 o'clock and it's uh, quarter after 1 now and I can feel just a little bit of a miss so it's going to be interesting whether I get this back up and operating and I pulled my two overflow pipes out and as you can see it's almost to the point where no water would be running out for the water wheel with those two drains open. And it was to the top of the gate. I was making about six amps. So it's, it just amazes me that those two four inch pipes can take more water out than that trough going to the water wheel. But anyways, I better get going on this. It's gotten super windy so I don't know if the wind's going to blow this camera over or not, or whether it's going to work out. But I'm going to go up, pull these two other old wires out, and disconnect the, the bugs that are going on to the line going up to the house.
in the pond. There it is, floating. All right, I gotta get something to back me up to get that other wire bug loose up there, so I'll be back. Okay, fished my head out of the pond. Boy, that's refreshing. <laughs> All I gotta do is put the cap on the weather head. I got the wires tucked back up, so. Weatherhead's an old school cast iron one, or them screws would have broke off in there probably. So now I got to get the wires hooked up inside. Okay, I got the wires hooked up. I'm going to go out and open the gate on the water wheel and get her started. And the pond isn't all the way filled back up, so it's not going to be six amps, but it'll build up eventually. phase yet. I just hooked into my old wires because I don't have the third wire run yet, but I do have the new wires up to the weather head. So now we go from the weather head to the, to the house. And that'll be another day if the weather holds out decent. Uh, I'm guessing it might not be till next week. Who knows? So I do, I do have a uh, a parcel I got. It's going to be parts for the new new system. So we'll go up to the garage and open that up and see what they look like. Well, that's what we're showing up here at the house. I think this one's more accurate than that one that was down there. That one always seemed different than anything else. It was more just an indicator that it was working. So the one wire that I pulled out had a nick in it and it was corroded some so maybe partial partially eaten off so maybe them new wires was a, a good thing anyways everything I do I seem to gain so that's what we're looking for okay here's my box straight from China and it only took gee maybe two weeks I was surprised I expected to wait till June for it. <laughs> uh, it is. It wasn't free shipping, but it wasn't very much. It was like I don't know, two dollars and sixty cents or something. And I think the ones that do charge you a little bit seem to do a, a lot better job of getting stuff to you. I 
All right. So, I ordered some meters. That's a zero to thirty amp, and these don't require a shunt. I didn't want to mess around with the shunt stuff. So I got, I think, three thirty amp ones, and there's the the hardware. And they actually look pretty darn nice. Let's see. This is a 15 amp. See if they're all looking the same. Yep. And that's another 30. And that's a 20. And another 15 and one voltmeter. Which is zero to thirty. So probably some of you are saying, well, what are you getting all them old school meters for? Well, I'm going to change the, the system by a lot. I started out, I don't know, 40 years ago with a 12 volt system with some 12 volt lights and stuff. And then I graduated to using an inverter. And then I went to 24 volts for a while until Mother Nature lightening my 24 volt inverter. So I went back to 12 volt and a few years back I decided to do away with uh, messing around with the inverter thing except for when the electric goes out I had it so it would come on and I used some grid tie inverters. Well now they put the smart meters in and the grid tie inverters are actually work against you. So I'm taking them out and I'm going back to just running an inverter. Well, when I run the grid tie stuff, I didn't need any regulation because uh, I used the batteries as a regulator, more or less. It would, uh, as it come in, it would pretty much use it if there's any extra one in the batteries, and then lots of times those things would run uh, part way into the night. And of course they shut down uh, when the voltage got down. Uh, I think the one of my had was like about 11 and a half and it would finally give it up. And the other one wouldn't start until a little over 14 I think. So they kind of worked good together because the one would come on way early and then when we had lots of input the other one would uh, pick up. So that's why I'm making all these changes. And I decided not to go with the shunts and all the little digital meters for the simple reason that one time I did have a hiccup where I lost my battery correct connection just for a real short time. I mean like 15 seconds until I figured out what went on. And that 15 seconds, there was no load on the windmill or the water wheel, and of course the voltage went way up, and it burnt up all those, not all of them, pretty near all of them, burnt those meters up, because they're only good for 30 volt input. So I had to replace, I think it was four or five of them. So trying to stay away from a lot of the electronic stuff but I'm gonna have to have some electronic stuff to do this because I got to be able to control it so this is going to be part of it I got some other stuff coming so I'll show that to you 
when I when I get her. So I know this one didn't amount to much, but I thought you might like to see what I've been up to besides doing some revamping in the house for the wifey. That's why I haven't made a lot of videos. And if some of you guys, engine guys, are watching these videos, I got lots more engines. I just got to get time to get at them, and, and I will. There'll be more engine videos eventually, so hang in there. And uh, if you enjoyed this one, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.